morning and uh, yeah welcome to another video and another vlog um, we are on Hawkwick Hawksley. Hawksley. Look, we're in Lower Hawk. We're in Lower Hawk. Hawksley. The wife's here. I'm talking to the wife. <laughs> Hawksley, we're in. Yeah. Hawksley. Hawksley. Hawksley, I think it is. Um, we're on Hawksley Beach. We got there in the end, didn't we? Um, yeah, we're here for sunrise. Look at it. Look at it. We're going to get an amazing sunrise. But we've never been here before. So we're in a massive dilemma. We don't know what to shoot. Um, the tide's out. So this is actually well known for this crag that leads out into the, t into the sea. But with the tide being out and on a low tide, there's nothing really up here now to sort of shoot but what i'm thinking of is this bit of rock here i like this bit of rock you can see in the image just that oh where are we just here i like this piece of rock and i like the reflection i like the sand i like there's a reflection on the light over there and i think this will probably make a start for the image i can use this as a base there's also a water line and i'll just take you over and show you this water line um, but like i say we're just running out of time it really is playing against the time when you're down for sunrise in a location you don't know this wasn't my plan location we had to change plans this morning because the other locations that we were going to go to were rocky and again i can't walk around in the rocks in the dark and not know it and there's my other line you see this I've got a water line that's running through there again with reflections so that water line i'm hoping is going to give you a, a nice sort of zigzaggy line out into the out into the light coming up and there is potential for a really good sunrise because there's a little bit of gap in the cloud in the bottom lower end and you've got this higher out higher cloud above us now so potentially i'm going to get some amazing color as the light comes up i'll run down close to the beach but what i don't want to do is run down close to the beach now and put footprints all the way down this sand because we're the only people here apart from a couple of dog walkers down the end there um, i might just get the camera out here because this it, to me is is quite is quite nice and a bit more unique because it's just a water line whereas the rocks are always there so yeah i'm going to get the camera out give it a go and uh, yeah i'll speak to you if it works i've only got my little osmo again because i'm trying the osmo out i want to try and see if i can get this thing to work properly and see if i can get to grips with it now i'll spin you around the other side now now you can see me water line leading out there um yeah i just uh yeah i want to try and get to grips with this little camera and this little microphone if i can because it's really really lightweight it's not going to be the be all and end all but um i do need to get used to it because i'm off to the pharaohs in april and uh or the pharaohs should i say in april and i want to i want something lighter and smaller to carry so right let's get the camera out while well, there's a little bit of color in that sky let's get a shot off and then we can try and work about being clever after so i'll speak to you a little i want to get the camera out and uh, some sort of composition set up excuse me we are back on um yeah i've got the camera set up here she is she's camera's out um i tried those water lines um i tried the water lines over there it didn't look right um you, you had to get down low uh to get the oh i'm just wondering where i've got the moon in let me go back to my picture i just need to have a look and see if i've got the moon in up there it must it's got to be in the image it's got to be in it it's got to be up there somewhere um but anyway we've got sidetracked let's go back to uh, what i was saying yeah i've got the camera set up and i've um I've plumped for these these rocks down in the bottom corner um, in front of me and I've got a touch screen on let's turn that touch screen off it gets a bit a horrible area right yeah I've plumped for these rocks sorry about going on yeah I've plumped for these rocks the reason being is Denise is down there shooting that one the colors the colors sort of playing with us over in the background over there so I know there's some color there I find it hard to find a, the, the wow shot, I really do. This is quite a nice little shot because it's something different. We're not we're not normally out on the beach, are we? And I absolutely love being on the beach considering I used to live on the Isle of Wight. I uh, lived there for sort of 13 years, so I was surrounded by water for 13 years of my life and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, I've settled on these rocks because they're a bit rocky, a bit craggy. They're sort of jutting out that direction. So they're going out that way. I've got a leading line from the bottom right hand corner leading you through the image. I've got a leading line from the bottom left hand corner also leading you through the image. Um, but it's sort of leading you out. I know the I know if you follow your lines, they're leading you off to the left. Um, but hopefully you go off to the left, you pick up on the little dark patches. So basically looking at this, you're leading you off to the left, and then you're picking up these little dark patches there, which brings you back into the sunlight and the colours. But the clouds also, if I can find the clouds for you, the clouds also are also coming back down into the image. So your clouds are coming in, your clouds are coming in, and also the uh, the lines are leading you through. So it's not it's not a bad shot. It's working all right. Um, I've come down quite low, as you can see. The cameras the cameras quite down, quite low. But yeah, the craggy rocks are leading out, 
uh, camera settings. What are we on? Single shot. I've actually put a grad in. As you can see, I've actually got a grad and I don't use the grads very often, but in this situation, I really do think it needs it and I think it works. It's a hard grad and because you've got a horizon line, dead prominent horizon line with the back of the sea line, there's, there's no mountains, there's no hills for it to intrude, intrude, intrude into, there's no trees or anything. So it really does work and I just like this. It's quite a soft, subtle, mood to the image it really is really quite nice now the biggest bugbear is i'm just going to pull it up a little bit because i'm a bit chilly the biggest bugbear is um because we've walked across the sand i've got a few footprints in the sand because i was exploring over there first before i came here and that's a real bad thing i did say to denise when we first got onto the beach let's not walk across the beach because we are fresh air so let's try and keep the beach clean and fresh but there are footprints they are actually leading you into the image so i'll have a look when i get on the big screen see if i can see them and i'll be able to clone them out anyway but yeah it's quite a nice soft subtle somber image if that's if that's right um i think i was on f7.1 let me just have a look because i might change that the colors change slightly now at the beginning when i first started shooting there was a little bit more color on the on the water patch there's a water patch just there and there was a little bit of color on that as well but the sun's not up yet um the sun's due to come up at a, about half eight and it's definitely not half eight yet so i'm going to knock the camera off histogram's looking lovely that's not a bad little shot so i'm going to go and have a look at what denise has got just purely because that was the first the first composition really that we decided oh and a little useful tip you can see my bag down there if you can see that i put the waterproof cover on it if you're on the beach and you're on the sand put your waterproof cover on it because then you can dump it on the sand you haven't got to worry about sand getting into your zips unlike denise she's just bunged her look at this she's bunged it on the sand she don't care <laughs> it just saves you sand oh where are you come back i've lost you hello um, yeah, it just saves the sand um on the bit and very nice very nice too yeah i like that oh she's always doing it isn't she is that a long exposure as well yeah oh she's been well in there straight in with a long exposure <laughs> Only because... blah 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 can i give you a tip though yeah because you're my wife you see we've just caught the edge of the frame there with, know, the, with the lines yeah but should it, if i move it slightly further over i get the other rock in and that's why it's there right okay look fair enough look, yeah no i do like that because you have got a diagonal now and now you've got a little bit of tiny bit of breathing room on the edge of that um, yeah, we looked at this rock first of all. I'm not going to walk over there because I don't want footprints in it for, for, for the good lady why she'll murder me. But yeah, this rock, it's got water around it, which is quite nice. So that's the composition Denise set up. And she's going, she's having a real mad week. Yesterday she's doing it and today she's doing it. She looks, she's got a two minute exposure on the boil. Have a look at it, I'll flick you around so you can have a quick look. Right, it's only because... Two minute exposure, see, look, pumping away. So that's her composition, pretty much there. The composition is, she's talking to me, hang on. <laughs> Yeah, so I just wanted to get her, make sure she got this little light bit in here and she's got this lovely little bit of water coming around here and this little bit of crags just on the bottom there which is sort of leading you through the image and then she's got the colour and before she's got these nice wispy clouds and I'll put the image on now for her. Still might get, if the light comes up in the distance over, over in the back there, if the light does come up and just crest the horizon, it's going to be great. I'm going to show you a couple of images and uh, sorry for talking for so long. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got my shot. Um, not very often I get a shot I like, but I think I've actually got a shot I like. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, no, I, I take that back. I do, I do like my photographs. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I do, I do, I do enjoy doing what I do. Um, what a lovely shot that is at the moment, though. Um, I'm gonna just take that again. I'm at f20, trying to get a little bit of a starburst. I'm gonna try and focus that a bit further in, uh, just to make sure I get a bit more. Well, f22, crikey, that's plenty. Uh, two second timers on the sun's coming up it's up above the horizon now and you can't see me where are you come back what is going on with this camera um yeah i'm in a vertical orientation uh, i've got a little bit of seaweed down in the bottom i've got all this lovely 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 texture in the sand it really is lovely texture in the sand um, and then i've got these two rocks that the sand's just washed across um you've got this little patch of water where the sun's on it um i did have the big lens out just now um i had the i had the 
I had something bleep then. Um, I had the, uh, I'm just concentrating on this lens. I can't do both at the same time. I'm really not keen on this gimbal. I'm not good, I'm not good at gimbals, I'm really not. Yeah, I had the long lens out. There was a boat out on the horizon when the sun came up, which was really, really quite nice. Um, but yeah, I think this image is, I think this image is works. I've got three elements in it. I've got the sun in the distance, I've got this reflection on the water, obviously. I've got these two rocks down in foreground. I've got the, on the, got the, um, see we just adds to the beach vertical orientation because i need to get it all in as i look down the beach um you pretty much see if i'm going to spin you around and show you what it is i'm looking at uh, here we go let's have a look see what, yes we've got this one down here we've got this little bit of a uh, seaweed and we've got the nice textures in the sand we're going over to this rock there and it leads off into the reflection there and then the sun over in the distance and i'm just going to hit the shutter button again because it might just get that one shot oh no it's blurred Never mind, it was too slow, too slow of a shot of speed. I thought I was gonna get the guy walking his dog in it as well. Um, and that would have been pretty cool. Right, so let's flip you back round. So yeah, that's my elements. Um, the sun's going up now, so it's gonna disappear. I'm just gonna enjoy these last moments of the sun going up behind us over there. Denise, I'm pretty sure she's got a shot over there. She's uh, She's been set up back on those rocks. Did you get it? Not sure. Yeah, no, that's, that's why I run over here, trying scrambling around. I literally, I did, I run over here. Um, because I was scrambling around. Once the sun come up, it sort of caught us off the hop. I didn't think it was going to show on the horizon because it got really dark over in the distance, but it did. It just started coming up. It was a really, really soft, soft round glow, which you probably see in the, um, the zoomed in shot. Like I said, I got the big lens out, I zoomed it out to 200 mil, and there was a boat in the distance. But just as I got the lens out, the boat decided to take off. So I don't know whether the boat's sharp or not, but the boat did, he just took off. And I'm like, seriously, he was just sitting where the sun was. It would have been a cracking shot. Um, these crags didn't work down here, they just, I just couldn't get them to work quick enough. There wasn't enough foreground, there wasn't enough interest. And as I move round, the light in the sand, um, see like from over there, and as I move round this direction, the, the sun started to reflect into that light, into that wet patch on the sand. So yeah, I think I got a really nice shot. Very beachy, very, very um, beachy. <laughs> yeah, really, really quite nice. I'm gonna go over now and uh, stand and watch the last few minutes of the sun rising, uh, drink me coffee. See if we can go down towards the sea. Maybe see if we can set up a nice long exposure. Now the tide's come in a little bit. See if I can set up a really long exposure while there's still a bit of colour left in that sky. We're back on. I've just come over. Um, we've just been walking over towards the, 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 the rocks a little bit more now. And I've come over here and look what I've spotted. Fuji is going to make an absolutely meal of this. Greens, Fuji greens. We absolutely love Fuji greens, don't we? Um, I wanted a picture, like I said, I, want a, I wanted a picture of the little island. Now, Denise is gonna tell you something about this island. Let's bring you over here to the good lady wife. And she's gonna tell you a little bit of history about the island. Go for it, babe. From what I can remember, anyway. Um, if, on the photograph, if you have a look at it, the lighthouse is actually, it looks like it's two-tone, brown at the bottom, and then you've obviously got the white bit on the top. The brown bit at the bottom was a medieval tower, and in 1200 and something, um, there was a, a Danish man, and he actually escaped and lived over there to avoid an arranged marriage, so heaven only knows who he was supposed to be married but he, <laughs> it, he wanted to live on an island to, to get out of it but the the top bit the white bit we think it said we was built victorian time so and it's been inhabited by various so the island and the, so the lighthouse hermits. is built on top of a fort <clears throat> yeah but the, but the actual lighthouse is built on top of a medieval tower so there, there you go there you go lighthouse built on top of a medieval tower and look at the sun coming up now i know you can't see it very well it's look blowing out but look how beautiful it is yeah the green's reflecting absolutely stunning it's going to get up a little bit higher in a minute and that'll be it so i'm actually going to come over and take this shot again now the sun has just come up because i'm sure it'll look pretty awesome look at that so i'm gonna, i'm on a bracketed shot let's get me base exposure set right me base exposure needs to be a bit lower 
and I'm just gonna hit the shutter. What I've got is a beautiful leading line. Look at this, I've got this lovely line coming all the way through the image, all the way over there to the lighthouse and the island in the distance or the fort. And the Fuji is gonna make an absolute meal of these greens. It's gonna be stunning. And the light's just coming across now. Have I got a dark enough one to get the sky? I have, yeah. Um, bracketed the shots now. There's a little bit of wispiness left in the clouds. The color's gone, but the sun's coming up and it's just gonna be a beautiful morning. Um, still time to get a few photographs because we've got low light this time of year and it's just going to be really, really nice. So. I'm going to cut off now. I'm going to say thank you for watching. I know it's been a bit of a quick one, not one of our epic four long stories. The wife's gunning me down with a couple of bananas. Can't really fault that, can I? So it looks like breakfast is on the cards. We've got banana. I've got my coffee down the side of me. Uh, not all down the side of me, but <laughs> hooked on my belt beside me. And uh, yeah, we're just going to enjoy this now. We're going to try and get some, maybe some long shadows. See these, you get these nice long shadows coming through. So we'll just have a look at walk around. Just enjoy the rest of the next couple of hours before we go wrecking for this evening. And uh, yeah, we're just going to take it all in, lap it all up. So again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you are new to the channel, get the notification bell down in this corner. Um, if you hit that little notification bell, it will um, just remind you. Look at the waves crashing over there. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you hit the notification, if you hit the notification bell down there, and I'm waving me banana around like a loose weapon, um, yeah, you'll you'll get reminded in the future videos. So yeah, thanks for watching. Tune in for the next one because we are up on the Northumberland coast for the next few days. We will be out Christmas Day, which you've already not seen, but Christmas has been and gone by the time you've watched this. But we are going out Christmas Day. Uh, what are we are now, twenty second, twenty third. 22nd, 22nd or 23rd we are today. I don't know, I've lost track of the time. But yeah, enjoy the next few few weeks of videos that's coming on from up this area and I'm waffling on now. See you soon. Ciao for now. There's a waving my banana. Bye!